Hi, my name's Leo, and in this video series I'll be showing you how to design a double wishbone suspension using Autodesk Inventor. So, to start off, what even is a double wishbone suspension? The double wishbone suspension is a type of automotive suspension which features two wishbone shaped arms to link the wheel to the chassis. The wishbone linkages allow for relative motion between the wheel and the chassis of a vehicle. This basically means that the wheel can move up and down to smooth out bumps in the road. This kind of suspension has a very important component in the middle called an upright. This houses a bearing which is used to allow the wheel to rotate independently from the rest of the suspension. The double wishbone suspension is quite simple in nature and provides a lot of versatility, so it is used on everything from budget racing cars to sporty sedans. The suspension system I will be showing you how to make in this tutorial was designed for use in a Formula Student race car. Before we get going with how to design this, I'll quickly run over the anatomy of this design. There are two major groups of components in this assembly. The rotating assembly and the suspension assembly. The rotating assembly contains all the parts which rotate using torsional power from the engine or motor. Starting near the car, you have the CV joint, CV adapter, hub and the wheel. These components are all joined together to allow the motor to transfer torsional power to the wheel. The rotating assembly also features the brake disc which is joined to the hub. This is used to slow down the vehicle. The suspension assembly features all of the components which allow the system to move up and down. These include the wishbone links, toe link, strut and upright. The wishbones allow vertical movement. The toe link controls the wheel for turning. The suspension strut contains a shock absorber or coilover which has the very important job of dampening vibrations. The upright links all these links together and houses the bearing. The bearing is the bridge between the suspension assembly and the rotating assembly. It reduces friction between the upright and the hub, allowing the hub to rotate inside the upright. A lot of force goes through the bearing, so it is a good idea to design the links so that they are in line with the center of the bearing. With all that explaining out of the way, we can get cracking on with the design. Just before that though, it's important that we have the correct template files and part files for Inventor. So I've done the lovely service of including these files in the resources section below this video for you to download. We can work through designing the suspension together and once you're done you can post your designs in the student projects section below the video. I'm happy to give help and advice in your designs so let me know if you have any bother. With all that out the way, let's get on with some CAD.